Hello, Excellency family. It's Jake here wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Now, Excellency has come a long way since it started. Since before we were even Excellency. <gasps> League of Legends. We're in the picks and bans right now. This is draft mode, ladies and gentlemen. We are blue team versus purple team. Welcome to Yasuo ban pick by blue team. Yeah, Sergey just keeping Wukong from getting any farm in that top lane. 66 to the 118. Warwick, though, jumping straight in onto Hecarim besides the dragon. While blue team thinks that they're doing Baron and start heading towards this inhibitor, red team's gonna come out of the base and now they're gonna get some damage. Stink Senpai, so much damage! Red team gets in there and that is gonna be um, Zillion going down before he has a chance to even use his ultimate. So, a little bit of heavy AP coming out here and we don't normally see Kale, but she is a very interesting champion, very strong and played correctly. Um, and that ultimate is, again, that kind of personal Zanyas. Having been both a Whoa. Raven Mage has. Um, Warmath locking is a fresh, really quick. Um, I think he's uh, picking that for uh, Jade. <laughs> Across Support the map, gonna find the least in. It's a portal combat. Fight, 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 I'm gonna put it in Norm's hands, uh, especially what we saw last game, trying to get the brittle stacks down onto the Nautilus. Does get some pretty good damage, doesn't quite slam Renduri into the wall. The shield is down on the Nautilus, however. Norn is Minion now damage. out of mana. Minion damage is real. The shield is just huge for Rinduray. There's the Brittle Sacks as well. Gerbil gets his own shield. Yeah, that is a nice thing. Yeah, Flex. You'd only see something like a Camille or, or possibly a Vladimir, but you're going to pull out the Caitlyn and Flex it. But even when we came Excellency, we were barely scratching the surface of what a community like you all could do. Since 2019, the game has changed completely. This year, we now have over 1,400 Twitch followers and 1,300 Discord members. We are a large community. We have casted high school championship games, LCS Academy games, amateur league invitational tournaments, and literally hundreds of games, including our own Get To In A Moment. We've had 22 different guest casters who come onto the desk to help Excellency all year long. And we founded the Weekly Scrim Gym, one of the premier places to play scrims in tournament styles. One of the only places that hosts those exact things. Yeah, finds a guy can to be. He's got the disarmor multiple members. Are they able to execute the echo? He's got some reduced four member oh. start. What the play? Bike! Oh my god! Be able to do any damage at all. They wouldn't be able to do much. Hydra's got the Emperor's Divide up to three members. He goes in, drops everyone low. He's still alive on the side. Hey, he's able to secure the Yorick. Kaiso got the D. All in, you're gonna have super minions coming into this lane on not this way, but the next one. Oh, Might be too late. Forward, trying to get the top of the relic. However, he's immediately had to back away. Answer in the meantime is finished off the iron to the side. Golden stop what's used that broken heart to keep himself alive. Relic on the run. Desperado not willing to give up just yet. However, Vygar says, I got you, and now Ramis finds the CC. The GA has been popped. Relic is going to drop. I don't think there's anything she can do to get out. Shut down to Intra. Minions and Darius dropping Darius down to half. It's in the mid lane. There's the last breath from Dive. But then it's dead. Makes the play. He flashes away. Can he do it? Holy crap! Look at the play! Oh, he's actually so almost against that new board. This is they are burning the tower. The Baron down under 800. The fight though is Deacon flashes in. Gets the ult oh. to find members. They are taking everything. Aurelia is still alive with full health, but I don't think she's going to be able to turn this one around. She's going to fall, and Simmer does it. Yes, we're straight on to the mountain break. They need to drop it a little bit more lower. The collateral damage is going to win. Human Ghost Play wasn't used, and that's why Futuristic she might go down to the vein. Who's already picked up one? That's going to be a free 1v2 double kill. All hail. Meanwhile, yeah, the split push was all about delaying Pretty Flacco from coming back to the fountain as Smartis will send Arcane Vixen back to the fountain with the death timer. And I don't know what happened to the graphics for a moment. That was beautiful to see. I think Troop Shop Barrage went right through the camera as Silverly's trying to make the play, dropping its The Ocean Drake is going to go over. Kais is going to try icing it in. Zeno going to be going down little by little, but he's not dead yet. He also back in. Oh my! 
Shout out to the baby Zeno who wants a little bit of recognition for paying the kitty cat that jumps in to murder somebody with the scratchy scratchy and then they die. So good stuff from Zeno, he can press buttons and kill this people. Riven now looking for the going out with the ultimate though, yes, on a Mr. Boss uses it to get up the kill, but might create his life. And he is going to have to get the stair escape truck and gonna be able to stand alive and get the double kill, the triple kill. What is this? The 1v5 for the Riven? As he's looking for the Amumu, maybe going to get it as the shield is there. Open up the map and let heal it up, bro. I mean honestly, it's so it's so hard. You wanna you wanna try and explain this? Oh my oh, god. Oh, dude, man, yes. Ruth the Feather Storm oh used from Zaya aggressively onto the turret. Rakan's gonna get stunned up. XCB will drop the TP coming in, though. Who's it going to be? It's the Mordecai is coming from the top of the double kills. Already been secured by the Zaya as well. And now a Mitsubia coming in. Maybe there will be something that this more, uh, Aatrox can do. TP to the bottom side. So Juani and Nico coming in to join the fight. The Reptiles pop in the mid lane. In the meantime, as Green Flare looking for that stun has found themselves a Mordecai. So they can chase on the cat and nearly found the root from the Nico. In the meantime, though, there's a Silence is rounded around. Heal it up, gonna drop. These are kills and shutdown go going back to 4A. They're looking for Cat Nader, but the feathers come back. The rip and tear from the Zaya. A Mithria might be in a bit of trouble. Trying to get the last couple of shots down the infernal. Oh my lord! The damage from Cat Nader is insane. Heal it up even DCs and they still win the fight. It's gonna be too dangerous to fight them. Um, Flash TP. already shot. Oh, but TP coming. From Yorick coming and Rakan trying to find someone to charm up. Now TP from Vladimir, but it might be a little bit late as the fight in the mid lane gonna be going badly for Defiant so far. Two shot rush tearing through most of the members of Embers, but the health is not that bad. Person to die. He will play on to four members. That's gonna be some serious burn damage as Majestic goes out the ultimate. The Kaisa will drop. This should be Defiance winning the fight. Poppy's able to take down the Pantheon, but it doesn't matter. Ignite taking way out of safely. Get the shield, but well. the charge from Majestic goes in. Gets the kill. It's a four for two as Defiance will win the fight. They're gonna get some pressure on Looks like the side of Grant sides back away. Unit Walton again. Oh! Five headshot! Five headshot! Right into the Cataclysm as well! Guys, oh, going absolutely dead! Game 4 picks up a triple kill! As the next turn at one is getting low. This is gonna be a close fight. He drops the Oriana. J4, yeah, yeah. look what he gets. The second next turn is gonna fall. It's gonna be close. A and F looking oh. to end it all. This is no. game five. Can they do it? The top of the oh. first. Gracious is trying to auto-attack it down. They can't finish it off. There's no damage on the Thresh. The Nexus survives with a sliver of health. Uh, and he is auto-attacking the tower. Look at that. And he's Where's the rocket form? Come oh, on. Right. No. No. Don't. Do not insert. Yes. It. Yes. He did it! Oh my god, I'm done! That's it, we can go home everybody. Stream's done. Uh, a summoner has disconnected. It's been an amazing year, with some incredible moments made by all of you. And we're raising the bar... again. Allow me to introduce Excellency Esports, your home for quality events, production, and entertainment. We're launching new programs, new graphics, new events, but are more committed than ever to bringing you the high quality and fun events that you've come to love. Returning in 2020 will be the scrim gyms, weekly tournaments, community events, but we're adding 1v1s, 2v2s, teamfight tactics, and as many other things as we can. We're hoping to expand to include Overwatch, Call of Duty, and any other games that our community plays. And we're going to be doubling down on our efforts to help promote streamers in our community, making sure that all game VODs are saved for your analysis, and weekly highlight reels are released so that you can enjoy your favorite moments. If you thought that Excellency was great, take a seat, because we are just getting started. I love you, and we'll see you all in 2020.